Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Monday, February 5th, our scripture is from the 102nd Psalm, verses 12 through 28. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to favor you. The appointed time has come. For your servants hold its stones dear and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion. He will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and he will not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that people yet unborn may praise the Lord. That he looked down from his holy height, from heaven to the earth, looked on the earth, on the earth. To hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die, so that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem. People gathered together in kingdoms to worship the Lord. He has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. Oh my God, I say, do not take me away at the midpoint of my life. You whose years endure through all generations. Long ago you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you endure. They will all wear out like a garment. You change them like clothing and they pass away. But you are the same and your years have, have no end. The children of your servants shall live secure. Their offspring shall be established in your presence. Enduring suffering. They will perish, but you endure. Verse 26. Please read the first half of Psalm 102, verses 1 through 11. In these early verses, the psalmist cries out to God in despair about illness, enemies, and separation from God. The psalmist's lament reminds us of one of the toughest jobs we share in this life, listening to someone in despair. Perhaps the despairing one is our partner who, who was just laid off, our neighbor who can't afford their rent, or our child who is bullied at school. Whatever the circumstances, our job is not to run away. We are called to listen carefully and to trust that God is listening. This act requires both courage and humility. Sometimes we ourselves are the despairing ones, grateful for one another, person, grateful for another person willing to listen to us and pray with us. Now please read the second half of Psalm 102, verses 12 through 28. In this half the Psalm, the Psalm, the Psalm, up this half of the Psalm, the Psalmist witnesses to us that God has heard their cries. The Psalmist reminds us of what we've learned, that beyond despair lives new life. Loving God, help us to give others our full attention so we can reflect your love. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.